Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So excited to be here with you guys today. My video today is actually going to be a product review for you guys on Max um, Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation. Um, I know you guys are seeing my Back to Basics series right now and so I kind of wanted to just take a break from that um, and actually talk about this product because it freaking changed my life and I want to talk about it with you. But stay tuned because next week I'm actually going to be doing a foundation video, a concealing video, and a highlighting video. That sounds like three videos, but actually it's only one. But we're gonna go over those three things and I'm actually gonna use this foundation so you're gonna get to see it in action. Um, and I'm gonna teach you a couple of different techniques on how to apply foundation, different ways to conceal, and then also the differences in setting powders that you can use. But we're gonna use this product right here. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. So if you're new to my channel, first of all, let me welcome you and I hope that you'll consider subscribe, how about subscribing <laughs> and hitting that notification bell as well so that you can be alerted when I upload new videos, which is actually every Friday. And then of course, to everyone, if you guys are liking what you're seeing on my channel, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up and maybe even comment below um, about kind of what your thoughts are on this. So let's actually jump right in and let me tell you about this life-changing foundation. So um, most of you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, my husband and I renewed our wedding vows a couple of weeks ago. We just celebrated 14 years of marriage on February the 7th, and um, we are here in the great state of Florida living a beach life in high humidity. So my concern actually for this finding this foundation really was totally about, oh my gosh, I get to be a bride again and how can I make my face look amazing um, and be on the beach and not have like that sticky, like not necessarily glowy, but you know that shiny look that you can get whenever humidity hits your face and your makeup just feels like it's running. So I was kind of like out and about and I went to the Mac store to actually get that eyebrow brush that I used in my first Back to Basics makeup series on eyebrows. So if you missed that, I'll link it here for you. Um, but this fancy brush right here. And I was chatting with um, one of the makeup artists in there and I was just chatting with her about my skin and all that good stuff, talking about microneedling, you know, the use, just, you know, blowing smoke with people. Blowing smoke, that's probably not right. Shooting the breeze, how about that? Um, and so we were talking about just kind of the, you know, how, why we were moved down to Florida, all that good stuff. And I told her that Lance and I were renewing our vows um, within a couple weeks and I really wanted to make sure that I had a foundation that was gonna last and uphold in the pictures. And she goes, girl, have you tried the MAC Pro Longwear, the one that's waterproof? And I was like, no. Um, the last time that I had a MAC foundation was actually the Studio Fix. And while I liked it because it was full coverage, it seriously made me greasy as a mofo. And so I actually was not, I don't know what just beeped at me. Hello, it's my laptop. <laughs> Um, so I told her, I said, you know, is it, what's kind of the finish, all that good stuff. And she said, well, you know, obviously living down here in Florida, if you do live down here in Florida, you know that it's like humid 94.3% of the time. So it's very rare that we have a day down here that doesn't have some form of humidity. And I would also venture to say that the humidity leans on the high side. So you tend to feel it in the air. For those of you that live in like humid states during the summer, I don't wanna say that it feels like that because I don't feel like my body's sticking together. I literally hate that feeling. Um, it's not like that, but you can feel just that moisture sometimes in the air. Now when it rains, that is a completely different story. So she was telling me about this foundation. She sent me home, which first of all, they are super awesome about like if you go into the Mac store and you get a sample, like they send you home with like these pots and they fill it up. Like, I mean, I still have so much foundation in there from a sample. Um, and then of course, um, <clears throat> they do that with everything there. So let me just say that I love going in there because I feel like not only do they want me to have like a couple of uses, I can get a week's worth of makeup out of that to really determine if a product is gonna work well. So that's what she did. She sent me home with two um, little pots and one was uh, one color and one was another. And obviously one color ended up working out better than the other. So I wore it for, um, I think it was probably maybe a week before our wedding, our wedding, our vow renewal. I wore it several times. And so I was super impressed, but I'm gonna insert some pictures here for you guys too from our vow renewal. Cause I want you to see first of all that I'm crying and that it's not running down my face. And then secondly, I want you guys to actually see the finish. So let me actually talk about what's great about this foundation. 
Um, so from the MAC website, it says that it's a waterproof formula that lasts for 24 hours and can be used as a concealer or a foundation. It says it's a tenacious waterproof formula that can be used as a foundation or concealer wearing for an unprecedented 24 hours. Neither rain nor tears, and I can attest to the tears, can budge this oil-free, watertight product that actually repels moisture from the surface of the face. The formula blends seamlessly on the skin with medium to full weightless coverage and a natural satin finish. A couple of other claims about this foundation that I kind of want to read off to you guys too are these. So it says it's water resistant, transfer resistant, long wearing, 24 hours, provides instant and long-term hydration. It's oil free, provides stay true color, dermatologist tested, non-acnegenic, ophthalmologist tested, and for all skin types. I feel like that, the, it, that is pretty consistent with actually how the foundation works. Um, I do wanna say that, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, provide stay true color, which I kind of talked about also, that I did notice that it does oxidize a bit. So that's the only thing about it. It is, it's true to its color, but it does oxidize a bit. So keep that in mind um, when choosing um, a color. And then of course, um, the other thing that I really liked about this is that it's ophthalmologist tested. Um, and I like that because, well, first of all, if you guys don't know the difference between tested and recommended, so like whenever you buy a product and it says like dermatologist recommended, what that means is that they're literally recommending that, but it does not mean that it's undergone the scrutiny of an actual test with physicians. So this is actually a, a ophthalmologist tested and dermatologist tested. So that means it's been tested by them. I feel like I'm saying these words a lot. <laughs> But that means it's actually undergone testing with these select physicians. And I think that's fantastic because it's not like someone's like, oh, here, this product's wonderful, try it. It's versus, it's actually undergoing some of their, I guess, whatever tests they would provide. I would love to know actually what those tests are that they actually test under. And I'm gonna stop saying that word now because I've said it too much. At any rate, I like that it is not just a recommendation. Um, and the reason that I like that it is um, ophthalmologist tested, said it again, is because, um, I don't know about you guys, but my eyes are sensitive. So there's even times like certain concealers that I'll put under my eyes, they will burn. And that is not a good feeling. So um, at any rate, I have not had any problems with this foundation whatsoever. And I feel like all of the claims, it pretty much lives up to other than the provide stay true color, um, just because of that slight oxidizing that it does. So that's what I love about this product. Yes, it's full coverage, but it's satin. It's not matte um, and it's not too dewy. And I did use it with, um, I think it's Max Prep and Prime and I'm out of what I had. So again, they gave me a freaking, I went in there to buy it and they didn't have it. They were out too, but it was a sample and it's the, um, I believe it's, the, it's Radiant Yellow Max Prep and Prime. So I did use a MAC product product to prep underneath of this just because I kind of wanted to make sure that it wasn't one of those things where I have like a water-based foundation and an oil-based primer and the two don't go together. So I wanted to make sure that I could make, I could just be certain that it would work. So um, anyway, I put it on and I took forever to do my makeup that day because you guys know and you'll see from the pictures I had false lashes on. I just, it was a very, like Lance and I wanted this very timeless 19 like 40s look. Um, I had a dress, you guys, my dress. I've had a lot of questions about that. Y'all, this was from H&M on a clearance rack for $12. Holla, holla. It was awesome. I was so excited about that. And then Lance actually got his clothes um, from, actually, he bought some things from H&M. And then it turned out he found a couple things in his closet to wear. But he wore the suspenders. Um, and I think he had on a bow tie, too, if I remember right. Anyway, um, so we went for this, like, 40s, like, 1940s classic, timeless um, glam, if you will, for me, and then just a, a, that look overall, because we wanted to look back 50 years from now and go, oh my gosh, we still love these photos. Because when I look back at my wedding photos, which I might just insert one just for fun, I was freaking orange from all the tanning that I did. And obviously we looked like children. We were 18 years old. Um, but it's just funny to look back on that and see how much style has changed. And this time I just didn't want to feel that way about photos. So back to the makeup, I put this product on we were down at the beach and it was honestly, oh my gosh, it was just, 
you'll see from the photos, <laughs> it was just a perfect night, but it was very, very humid that night. And so I was super bummed because I only have a couple of photos that actually show how curled my hair was. And I kid you guys not, within like, th right, right after I walked down the aisle, um, all the curl fell out of my hair. So that's how humid it was. And my hair is like straight as a board. Like it does not, if it's humid and I put curl in it, it's just gonna hang. And so that's kind of what happened. But of course, it was a very, very emotional thing for both of us and for a lot of different reasons, but it, it meant a lot for so many reasons that I just won't go into today because this is really about foundation. But um, at any rate, I cried a lot. I cried walking down the aisle. I cried standing there with him. The songs were emotional. The vows that he wrote me were emotional. The vows that I wrote him were really funny and emotional, but I did a lot of crying. Um, and at one point I remember him looking down at me and saying, oh, we're gonna have to fix your makeup. And I thought, um, oh crap, because I was hoping that this product was not gonna run. And then it turns out after the tear stopped, he said it was like wicking away from my face. And so he thought that it was like running. You know how your foundation looks when you cry and you have like those marks, those run marks running or tear marks running down your face. He thought that's what it was. And then after I kind of like patted my face and, and you know, stopped crying, I said, oh, is, is it okay? Do I need to like get out something before we start taking pictures? He goes, he's like, no. He goes, it, it looks awesome. He goes, I guess it was just the water running down your, you know, running off of your face. And I was like, wow, that's amazing because I knew I needed a waterproof foundation because I was going to cry and I did not want to have the streakiness from layers of foundation <laughs> running off my face. So I was super duper impressed with that. Um, obviously I will link uh, a link for you guys below if you want to check this out. I am in the shade NC30. Um, it does oxidize and so for those of you who don't know what that means, it's just a fancy term for when the makeup hits the air. It just can kind of like change colors a little bit. So I would say that this, now that I have a little bit of a tan going on, it probably um, won't, I, I don't want to say that it oxidized too much because it definitely didn't, but I could see a difference. So I always run foundation down my neck. If you think that it's like too dark, you can always go and get a foundation lightener. Um, I prefer to have something a little bit darker and be able to lighten it versus having a foundation. I think I just spit, sorry, <laughs> versus having a foundation that is like too light and not being able to wear that. And right now, because I have a tan, all of my foundations are too light. So... Anyway, um, can't say enough good things about this. The other thing that's really cool is it's creamy. Uh, you don't need a lot of product. And then of course, next week when I actually do the tutorial for you guys and I show you the different techniques, I'm gonna make you come back because I'm not gonna tell you how we're gonna do this. But um, <laughs> when we do this, I'm kind of gonna get you guys to see the differences in tools and all that jazz um, in, using the, um, in using the tools try not to give anything away and seeing how the foundation application actually works. And then of course I'm gonna teach you some things about setting your foundation with powders and all that good stuff and give you some of those like awesome makeup tricks that everyone wants to know but not everybody likes to share. I'm gonna freaking share those with you. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned next week. Um, come back here next Friday and we will talk about um, this foundation, how to apply it, the techniques, how to conceal, why we conceal, how many different ways you can conceal, and then of course, why so many setting powders, what they're for, and I'll show you guys how all of that looks. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this today. Can't wait to show you what it really looks like next week on my face, and so I will see you next week, next Friday. Tune in, and I'll see you then. Bye.